Optifine for Minecraft 1.19.2 just released. So let's go ahead and get it installed. The first thing you want to do is go to the second link in the description down below. When you go to that link, it's going to take you here. This is our complete guide on how to install Optifine in Minecraft. It goes over everything. We're also going to be going over things in depth in this video, but should you want to go at your own pace or should you have any issues, it's all covered here. As you can see all the different issues that are troubleshooted super in depth. But nevertheless, once you're here, go ahead and click on the yellow download Optifine button to be taken to Optifine's official download page. Once you're here, you want to make sure Minecraft 1.19.2 is selected. As you can see, right there it is, Minecraft 1.19.2. If it's not, you can click Show All Versions and it'll be in here, but for us, it is right up here, right at the top, because it just came out and it's the most recent version. Under that, you'll see Optifine. Come over here and click this Mirror link. The reason we're clicking Mirror is that bypasses an ad and takes us directly to the Optifine 1.19.2 download page. On this page, we've got the purple download button there. Click on that and Optifine will begin downloading. While it's downloading, how about a miss from our sponsor, Apex Minecraft Hosting? Go to the first link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to start your very own 24-hour DDoS protected Minecraft server. We actually love just Apex so much, we host all of our Minecraft servers on Apex Minecraft Hosting. On top of that, at Apex, they have 24-hour, 7-day-a-week support should you have any issues. And if you want to add mod packs, mods, or anything else to your server, you can do so with just a few clicks at Apex. So again, if you want to start your own server, look no further than Apex Minecraft Hosting. That's the first link down below, the breakdown xyz slash apex nevertheless as you can see it is downloaded in the bottom left unfortunately you might get a pop-up like this if you do you can just click back close out of it whatever but you can see optifine is downloaded in the bottom left of our screen you may need to keep optifine in the bottom left or save it in the same screen on mozilla firefox either way it's perfectly safe to do that but as you can see it says optifine in the title and that's how you know it is safe nevertheless we can minimize our browser now and let's go ahead and move optifine to our desktop to do that click the little windows icons in the top left of my screen probably in the bottom left of your screen or bottom center of your screen on windows 11 so click on that little Windows icon. Type in downloads. You have this downloads file folder here. Open this up and in here you will have Optifine. Right there it is. You can see Optifine 1.19.2. Now drag this to your desktop. First off, let's go ahead and see if we can open up Optifine. To do that, right click on it, click on open with, click Java, and click OK. That'll open up the Optifine installer here. But Nick, I didn't have Java, right? When I clicked open with, there's no Java here. Or I don't have Java and my icon right here is broken. Well, in both of those situations, you need to download and install Java 17. Java 17 is required for Minecraft mods and servers, and guess what? Optifine is a Minecraft mod, so you do need Java 17 for it. This is our in-depth, complete guide on getting Java 17. It goes through everything you need to know to get it set up, and once it's set up, you should be able to open up Optifine. However, for some of you, you'll still need to run the jar fix. This will take the jar files on your computer and link them back to Java, making them work properly together. This is what's going to fix those icon issues if you did have them. Nevertheless, we can minimize our browser and go ahead and get started on installing Optifine. To do that, right click on it, click on open with, click Java, and click OK. That's going to open up the Optifine installer. And before you click install here, make sure that Minecraft is closed and the Minecraft launcher is closed. If either of those are open, this won't work. They are, you can go ahead and click install, and the only reason you won't get this success message here is if you've never played Minecraft 1.19.2 before. If that's the case, just go ahead in the Minecraft launcher, play Minecraft 1.19.2, close out of it, come back, and this will work. I know a lot of people don't update Minecraft until Optifine updates, so I always like to mention that. Nevertheless, once you do get this success message, you can close out of this, and we can delete Optifine from our desktop. Now let's go ahead and play Minecraft with Optifine. To do that, you want to open up the Minecraft launcher here, and for most of you, you will have an Optifine profile automatically selected. As you can see, there it is for me. You might need to click this arrow and select it, but if that's the case, you have Optifine. It says 1.19.2 under it. Click on it, click play, and click play again. But if you don't have Optifine here or in this menu, click on Installation at the top. Then make sure modded is selected. You can see we deselect modded, Optifine disappears. We select modded, there it is, there's Optifine, right? Now if you still don't have Optifine here for whatever reason, or you don't have the 1.19.2 version of Optifine, click on new installation. Now you can name this whatever you want. Obviously I'm going to name it Optifine Tutorial because we're doing an Optifine Tutorial here. You can name this literally anything. Then the most important part of all of this is clicking this version drop down box here because as you can see when we do that we have release 1.19.2 Optifine. So as you can see release 1.19.2 Optifine right there. Select that under version. That's what we need to do. We also need to set our resolution. You don't have to do that, but I'm doing that so we can see once we get in game. Finally, click create in the bottom right. And now we have this Optifine tutorial profile and the one that's there by default. Doesn't matter which one, hover over it, click play, click play again. And now Minecraft is gonna open up with Optifine. It is worth mentioning at this moment that Shaders isn't quite compatible with Optifine yet, but as soon as it is, you will be able to install it and we will do an in-depth guide on it. So go ahead and subscribe to the channel to see how to install Shaders with Optifine once it is up and running. Nevertheless, all we've gotta do now is 
kind of sit back and wait as Optifine does open to the main menu. And then once it's on the main menu, we can quickly look at some Optifine settings and just show you that Optifine is in fact up and running in Minecraft 1.19.2. Also worth noting, it might take a little longer and you might have weird freezes like we just had while you're loading into Minecraft with Optifine. That's perfectly normal. But here we are, as we can see in the bottom left, it does say 1.19.2 modded. That signifies that there's something different there. And then if we go into options and video settings. This is where we can really see all the stuff Optifine adds. Not only do we have Optifine right here in the bottom left, we've got all these other tabs as well. We can also do things like extreme render distance and so much awesome stuff with Optifine. As you can see, one of the cool things about Optifine is if you hover over something, it actually tells you about it. And it tells you what's the fastest, the slowest, and the slowest. Faster being more FPS, slowest being less FPS. You've got so much customization here, it is absolutely insane. And it's actually an in-depth video in and of itself that's over 12 minutes long. If you want to see how to set up the best Optifine settings, we have a link in the description down below. As well as at the end of this video, you will see our in-depth guide on that pop up on the screen. So go ahead and click on that if you want the best Optifine settings. Similar to shaders, that comes out literally right after this video comes out. But there you go. Optifine is set up and installed. It is working. You can join in game, all of that stuff. And one of the cool things about Optifine is that you can pull up your FPS in game. So let's go ahead and do that. And then we'll sign off here. So once we're in game here, we'll be able to see up in the top left, we have our FPS showing. We've also got things like this right here. This is Optifine at work being on the side of this block, this grass here. And unless we go into options, video settings, other, you can turn on that FPS in the top left up here. As you can see, I turned it off, turn it on, boom, pops on and off right like so. But nonetheless, that is how you can download and install Optifine in Minecraft 1.19.2. If you do have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. And again, you can check out the video on your screen on how to get those Optifine settings set up and working perfectly, as well as shaders. If it's out, will be on your screen as well for you to go see how to get shaders. So many videos coming out on Optifine. We do this with every single Optifine version, so be sure to subscribe to the channel for more incredible content on how to get Optifine, Minecraft, Minecraft servers, Minecraft shaders, Minecraft mods, all of that stuff. We cover it all in depth. And again, you can check it on your screen your Optifine settings and shaders. Anyway, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. I'm out. Peace.